Fantastic, brother. We here tonight. We are joined by Mr. Renzo. Renzo, how are you going, boy? How Trinidad treating you? Trinidad yeah, nice, nice, you know. Trinidad sweet. Yeah, all yeah, yeah. Out all the action, all the missing out all the the pets. I the know, party. boy. I know, I know. We vex, we vex. So, you know, tri- you know, Trinidad is just a party in alignment. You know that. Correct, <laughs> correct. Sunday, to Sunday. Especially this time of year. Yeah, yeah. Especially this time of year. Um, yeah, yeah. We here's your mom's birthday, so happy birthday to your mom. Yeah, I want we to all... wish happy birthday to on camera on Trini Vibe TV. Um, yeah, don't know. know. She been here for me. Uh, she been here for me um, since day one in my career, um, personal life. Um, been like the the backbone of of Team Renzo, you know. Uh, most of my performances and things, she she always there present. Even though again, I'm like a bad on stage, she there watching. <laughs> <laughs> pull forward, pull support. So. You know, um, from the bottom of my heart, moms, happy birthday. Love you. Wish you many, many um, more years to come. Health, strength, prosperity. Don't know. Don't know. Yeah. And, as, and is your mom, uh, your mom is your manager as well, right? No, no, no. She's, she's basically um, part of the team, but not um, management. My brother she is the manager. Right, he's your brother. Yeah. Uh, David, David is manager. <laughs> oh, you know, you know, you know, know the whole family. family. Yeah, I, I know yeah. man. I know David, man. Long time. Two of them long time. Since, 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 since they're like the Mussy Now born kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's shaping up to be a good carnival season for you so far. You're dropping, you're dropping new music. Um, yeah. Holly, Holly season been going for you so far? Yeah, season been um, great. You know, every weekend we, we can like uh, four or five shows. Even though we're not in most of the, the all-inclusive fets because uh, what happened is um, after carnival, we have some huge pro- projects for for Miami and for Latin America. So a lot of the time and focus going towards that. So we, we, we have to try to balance it, try to please the the Trinidad market as well as um, put the focus outside, you know. So we, well, we have um, a lot of shows in clubs and stuff and, and private functions, but we kind of keeping it like that, you know. Right, yeah. No, that was one of the questions I was going to get to as well later on, but um, I'm glad we brought it up now because I've been noticing your PR team, um, Putting, uh-huh. like, posting a lot of, I would say, uh, updates and um, really pushing, really pushing your Enzo name, but uh, in Spanish. So I've been noticing a lot, a lot of the Spanish is just Spanish based, still growing as well. Yeah, of course. Uh, what what we plan to do for for um, after Carnival is work with um, a producer. He goes by the name of Russian. Uh, right. He he was yeah he was Vibes Cartel producer, but he's working with a lot of um big name Latin stars like Daddy Yankee, uh, right. Faruko, all of them. So we have um, a lot of projects to work on. Uh, we're supposed to work on our EP too for, for the Latin market. Right. So yes, that that is basically what taking up most of our time, you know, to get that project going. Um, we, do, we just don't want to be saying, yeah, we're doing it and we're not doing it, you know, and and contemplating and stuff like that. So yeah. we, we like to always keep moving, no matter if it's... Um, if it's carnival, we focusing on or outside, you know, we we have to keep the brand moving and the, the name relevant, you know. Yeah. Um. All right. And, and another thing is that like last year you had dropped um you had dropped a song with Idonia. This um you now you brought out Kulo with Busy Signal. How yeah. is the connections uh between y'all and and I would say the dance all artists going? Yeah. Well, we it's basically like um we like like close family, you know, because. Um, how the Car- Caribbean are very close, closely attached. You hear like um, dancehall artists dropping on soca beats, as well as um, soca artists dropping on dancehall beats. So it's like we, we have a chemistry together, and we have one mission, which is to to take the music um, global, you know. Right. And once the artists have the understanding of that, then um, the chemistry and the the final product will always be executed proper, you know. Yeah. Talking to um last week we had a guest artist called Phenomenon for Auto Barbados on the show and we were talking to him saying um and he, he was basically saying that soca is one of the hardest genres of music to to sing, to get into. It's not like R and B or anything like that. Do you agree with that? 
I will say it's 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 a different um form of performances, meaning um like in R and B and and those different genres, you don't need to be so much um interactive, meaning like um find arguments to to get the crowd hype. You know, you just basically have to sing your song and 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 the people connect to your voice, right. your 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 um voice and your tune. With soca now, you have to build. Um, arguments forwards. So let me see your hands in the air. Oh, the feeling. Anybody um, drinking? Anybody this? Anybody that? If you don't do that, then the crowd will be bored. We like to be um, entertained all the time, like non-sub. That's 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 in our blood, you know. We like vibes, non-sub yeah. vibes, like like Trini vibe. We like that kind of vibe. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Correct. And well, as we as we around this uh, vibe right now, we're gonna jump into the music video. With uh, with busy signal, we want to announce that you would reach out, Daryl. You would reach out to Renzo beforehand yeah. to get now. Renzo, you wouldn't be hearing it on your end because you're playing it on the studio, on the studio stream. But all the all the music we're running tonight is all Renzo. Yeah, all Renzo. I and Renzo, Renzo, mix. Renzo put together this mix on the spot. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Last yeah. yesterday. And and yeah, so I mean, and that's yeah, that's that's good. That's a boss right there. I yeah. mean, ask okay. and you shall receive. So all the music you all hear. On the stream tonight, while the interview is going on, is all Renzo. Um, but yeah, we're going to jump into this music video. This is uh, Mr. Renzo featuring Busy Signal with Kulo. And it's a real nice music video. We're going to come back. We're going to find out where it was shot and all that vibes after. So stay tuned. Come right back after this. Bless.
forget my mic live there, yes? Yeah, I know yeah. tell your my mic live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know telling us. You know, I had a bunch of questions here on, on the iPad typed up Hola. for Renzo. And after watching that video, them questions just kind of went out the window, boy. Because I was set of more questions. First of all, where else shot that video? In uh, Margarita. Margarita yes. Island, Venezuela. So y'all, y'all, you and you and busy met there, or y'all shot it together or separately, no. and then compiled it. No, actually, he had a show in Trinidad, and then we linked up, and he was like, "Yeah, let's let do the the um, the the blue screen in in a studio in Trinidad." And he shot his part and was lime, and it was a, it was a normal scene, it was a cool scene. You know, he he wanna stick around to see all the, the Spanish ladies. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, that's the next thing I see. I was going to ask you, where did y'all find all them women for that video? Well, um, we had a, a person working for us in, in Margarita who deal with models and stuff like that, and we linked up with her. And she organized all the girls. Uh, they were very organized, they were very um, on time, and, you know, it's just vibes after that, you know? Yeah, boy, she... Hmm. Very professional, I hope. Yeah, yeah, well, she she, uh, she did a very, very, a very good job. <laughs> yeah, they were very professional, yeah, very. I, I could have do like, a hundred takes, I didn't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, um... You see the uh, you see the beginning of the, the video, the beginning when the girl gave me the, the kiss on the chick, she did that about um a hundred times and I didn't mind at all. <laughs> <laughs> you only got to see the only ask the producer again. You get that one? You, or you wanna do it again? We can do yeah, it again if you want I, to. I, I don't I don't like I don't like that take. Do it over again. No? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's good, that's good. That's good. Like what I get. Have, ooh, that music come on loud there, boy. Sorry, yeah, and you all have now moved on to Nessa. You right? You and Nessa just linked up. Um, to yeah. bring out the song Jiggle, which I really like that song as well. And um, mm -hmm. I find Nessa doing big things. We had to get Nessa on the show, again. back on the show on the, again as well. But how oh, was yeah. it working with Nessa for the first, or is that the first time we all worked together? Yeah, first time we did a, a song to, together, but um, the whole team, the whole SMBD team, we are like a family. We all see each other every day. Um, Kern Rose, um, Razor, um, who are also writers. Uh, they write um, some of the biggest hits in Trinidad. And you know, it's, a, it's always our vibes, you know. Um, Kern Rose did most of my most of my videos. He did um, the the Swelter, the other one that we did in Venezuela um, right. a few years ago. Right. Extraordinary, you know, a whole lot of videos, you know. So we kind of keeping that team together, close. Um, working with Nessa is, is very um, welcoming too, because you know, it's not like you have to try too much. You now. it's like you know, we are like um, family. So when we right. go on stage and perform, the chemistry there. The vibes there and stuff like that. So, you know, it's, for, for me, it's always a pleasure to work with um, young talent. I don't really chase down um, the people who are out there already. I like to like um, build that that younger generation to, to reach up to that level. And if you notice, this year, a lot of the younger generation stepping up the game, you know. Um, people like Second Star, Pretty, Chucky, um, yeah. a, a whole list of artists who fun as, um, yeah. A lot, a lot, and you know they they kind of like um stamping the foot on the the, the soca soil and doing the thing. You know, I, I was watching the, the soca monarch um semis. All of them did an amazing job, and I just want to congratulate them when they're done and stuff like that. Cause going in that stage, cause I've been there like um four times. Right. That's real. That's real pressure. You know, to prepare everything before and to, to get it how you want it. It don't always happen like that. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Agreed. Is um that's one another thing I wanted to ask you about too. What happened with uh with Soko Monarch this year? I know you didn't enter. Talk to us a little more about that. What was the reasoning behind it? Well, as I was saying before, um we have um a lot of projects for Africa Carnival and right. that a lot of our time. And I really didn't wanna give up give the people a half performance on stage. I don't wanna run on by myself and say, Yeah, I'm performing and that's it. Right. You know? Uh, whether they pick me or not, you know, it's just I when I go on that stage, it's, it's to win, it's to come first, right? You know, to to, to win the Soka Monarch um, Groovy title or the Power title, you know. I don't want to do it halfway or anything. I don't want to be properly prepared. And right now, our head is like um 50 50. You know, we have to balance um the Soka industry as well as the the Latin industry. And you know, it's a lot of time, a lot of time and a lot of et effort. We're still working on music as of um as the season. Um, flowing, we still we still working on stuff, you know. And is there is there? Do you have a big Latin base in Trinidad, or is this when you go outside of Trinidad? 
no well we have a small percentage of um latinos in trinidad but they they fully support me they fully support of what 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 i do um with the music because it's no one did it before you know it's something new and fresh yeah i've been to um colombia last year i've been in a four months um colombian tour and basically promoting uh the soca music to them and they have no idea what it is you know it's right. like after to to kind of explain it from day one you know it came from calypso and this and right. nothing the other so the, yeah okay some guys are very interesting very energetic and see in me perform on stage um the people very like they, they went crazy it's like um they watching like david getter in um neverland right they, they watching that and just they're just going crazy jumping up and you know it's like an amazing feeling a very refreshing feeling to, to so it is something where you, you integrate you integrate the soca then into the more latin music as well so you integrate in soca music as yeah. well so then give them a proper yeah, introduction I yeah i mesh i mesh the two you know uh, i give them the the the, the whining too because they don't see whining yeah, yeah yeah they don't know what whining yeah they'll do the whining thing but they don't know what it is so when they actually see a caribbean um venezuelan whining they're like wait this 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 dude crazy this this that that you know and yeah. you know it's, it's just love just much love and um, my eyes open bigger um to to continue doing what i do you know you know a lot of times as an artist you go through a lot of ups and downs sometimes you just feel to give up because you know sometimes things don't go the way how you want it to flow but um going there and actually seeing the audience um you know vibe it, it it made me want to continue doing um um soca music you know yeah yeah for sure now being being a successful artist that has traveled so much what is the biggest show that you've done to date so far i'll say in colombia uh yeah. the state yeah i performed for like a um, audience of um 10,000 people Please. um in colombia uh I went I actually went on before the, the main act which was uh, Mr Black uh he represents a genre of music uh in Colombia called champeta that's like the Caribbean side of um the Latin music right um based in the coast of, of of Colombia you know so you have like the the Caribbean side of Colombia um and performing there it was like amazing because that part of um Colombia um the name of it is called Carmen del Apicala you see people riding horse with cowboy hats nice so nice. i i think with uh, i any wild wild west i wonder if they'll <laughs> like um what i do in sort of feel worried i was like wait boy because they ain't like country music in colombia and as soon as i touch the stage and i say um we have a international um artist from trinidad and tobago born in venezuela big intro and everything um goes by the name of mr renzo the whole crowd just start a shout like if they know who i am <laughs> and I don't know who I am. You know, it's, it's like it's like an amazing feeling because, you know, performing in a Trini, Trini audience is like you yeah. have to work your, your way to the top for people to know you. Yeah. Want to know you and to know your music, then they give you the forwards. But you see, there now, you could have um that that music for them to, to, to kind of like connect to you. Yeah. And once they know that you, you're not from that country, with, with this image too, they're like, wait, this man amazing and then like after the performance um autographs pictures like like you could, i could have swear i lived the the the, the high life <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah 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 that, that, so, so that, that was also your best show to date as well you would say yeah the best show but um a lot of things happened in that show too eh? um i remember um during the performance i climbed down from the stage because you know they have like um a vvip section where right. people sit and down so you have a lot of high-end people sitting down there. Um, it's not like you know, the Trini audience where you could climb down and go in the crowd and wine right. and stuff like that. That audience, they're very uh, like an elite audience. So you can't right. really do that. So when I climbed down and went to the audience now, um, the people started to get worried. They say, no, 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 don't do that. Um, you might you might get shot if you whine on somebody's girl and so on, so on, this and that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, next thing you know, this girl came up and started whining on me and stuff. And she said, um, I have a boyfriend in Trinidad. I have a boyfriend in Trinidad. And, and, and um, I, I've been to Trinidad. So imagine big Colombia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you find that one person say, yeah, I have a, I have a Trinidadian boyfriend. 
yeah, yeah. So we beg it, we beg it. Well, you know. Yeah. We just didn't wait. <laughs> out of, out of 10,000 people, you climb up a stage and risk taking a bullet and you find the one, one girl, girl who have a trainer. Who have a trainer. Yeah. So basically, so basically, you could get the bullet in Venezuela, in, in Colombia, and then when they come back home, you got the next one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank, thank God, thank God, you know, I was a foreigner. And um, even the people in general climb across the, the um, to, to the VIP. So the, the whole VIP section turned into like um, a general section. <laughs> when yeah. there's so many, the... the uh, the VIP section and um, it was just vibes, boy. And I remember climbing back on stage now. Um, my pants got stuck into a nail, oh, so I was, like, I was like stuck there for like um, th- three minutes trying to climb, climb. And um, they were actually helping me to go up on the stage. You know, if that happened in Trinidad, yeah, that would be news. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> that would yeah, be yeah. big news. Yeah, yeah. he was, he was on the front page of the news, the only Express. Renzo gets caught on nail. Yeah. I hope it wasn't yeah, too much. I, I, I hope it wasn't too much of a big nail, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and, and they were they were helping me up on the stage and when I when I reached the stage now the, the audience clapped. So I I you know come to think of it come to think of it the whole culture is totally different from the Caribbean, you know. Yes. You know, it's like you have to you have to be there to actually experience it, you know. I can't really give it all in my words, but you know, being there. I know, I know that I don't want to go to Colombia real bad. One day I, I might take care, but you might want to come back. Um, you might want to go back to Canada. <laughs> yeah, I might, I might, I might so, lose, I so might lose just my co-worker keep... here, boy. Why, 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 why you say something like that, yeah, boy? boy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm a good fella. I'm a good fella. I'll be if myself was. Oh lord. Yeah, 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 he's behave himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember. Well, let's go back, you know. He know you. He know you well, you know. Right. Uh, anyways, yeah, anyways, I, I well. also, I also wanna, I wanna bring this video. Um, for Jiggle forward as well. When when you dropped the video for Jiggle mm-hmm. with Nessa, when when that video dropped? Oh, that was last week, you know. Last week, yeah, uh, last that week, video came out. And it was directed by Kern Rose, um, film team, Kern Rose, yeah. um, who's part of the SMB team. And, you know, so far, the people loving that video, you know, it's just um, the quality, the quality could be on, on MTV or BT, you know. And yeah. that's what we try to work work towards, you know, not just giving people a, a normal video, you know, something that people could talk about and something that could reach and cross waters, you know. Right. Um, the, the concept we, I, I really love the concept too. It's a kind of rugged concept with um, in a garage room, um, with girls bubbling and jiggling the bumper, you know. You can't yeah, yeah. want nothing better than that, you know. You'll want to carry a car there to service. Yeah. <laughs> you'll ever you'll. Uh, now we know that, for example, soca is now a genre on iTunes. You could go and buy a soca on iTunes. Um, do y'all ever push forward to get uh, your music videos shown on like a MTV, a MTV Two, a BET? Uh, you know, because we have tempo, we have synergy, we have these, we have these stations, but they are you know more focused on the Caribbean. Do y'all ever has your camp ever approached anybody internationally to try and get music videos, your music videos, onto? More of a, a Latin network or more of a MTV, a BET or whatever. I can answer that question too. Trinity Vibe TV is running video almost every. I day. know, I know. It was all all <laughs> Renzo music videos pumping hard on Trinity Vibe TV all the time. <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks. Um, yes, a lot of my videos showing outside of uh, of, of Trinidad, um, like um, in Panama, they have like a, a top ten countdown there. I forget the name of the, the station in in, um, in Panama, but. The video is pumping like mad. Uh, I had a friend who went to Panama and they told me that one of the biggest songs in Panama, that was like um, about three months ago, he said, Ben Your Back was one of the biggest songs in, in Panama because yes. when he went to the clubs, yeah, the people were like, like full forwards when the song come on, it's like, wait, I didn't really know sick. that. And he's like, yeah, yeah, he's Trini and he didn't know that, you know? So sometimes your music can be pumping in some other country. Um, a, a friend of mine from Curacao too said that the, the video was pumping in Curacao as well. So, you know, we, sometimes we don't even know where the, where the videos or the music hitting, but it pumping, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, I feel this this going to be the next tune I'm going to start pumping soon. We're going to take them to the video yeah. for Jiggle. So this is this is Mr. Enzo featuring mm-hmm. Nessa Preppy. And yeah, this video is sick. Only watch this. When we, uh, when we come back, we'll find out where they want to go and take your car, take your service because... They will like this video, they will like this I didn't know, I didn't know Nessica dance so too. Anyways, oh, check it out, come right back after.
Group boy, Kern Rose Films. Yeah, that that's a that's a that's a good video, boy, Renzo boy. Um, where where y'all end up shooting that one? That was in um the Martin. Um, I can't, I can't even remember the name of the, the garage, but the, the the garage was um a friend of mine, his name is Francis. Um, he lent us the place, and you know, um, gave us all the time to shoot. So that that shoot went on for like about um eight hours. We sat around. Well, we had about um, two two days of shoot. One was done in um, San Fernando, right. um, the motorbike um, repairing place, and then the other one was in Dego Martin. So, the one in Dego Martin, we took about eight hours to to finish shoot everything. You know, right. a lot of time went into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it looks so, and that's that's what I like to see too. Is you know, you seeing more and more artists, especially like yourself, starting to really pod videos that. Uh, they're not, they're not what uh, some people call them Caribbean quality then. It's like, you know, it's out there, it's international quality, you know? And that's good, yeah, that, yeah. that, that, that going to be start pumping soon. What about, what about the rest of the year? How many, how many uh, more songs we get out of the Renzo camp just for this year? Well, you have um, a video coming out very soon uh, for Drop That. Um, that was done by Creation Nation. Actually, after all the interview, are going straight down there to, to check out the final product. Hopefully, you know, everything yes. go as planned. And uh, we could drop it this week, you know. That that real good. I know y'all y'all drop when y'all launch videos, y'all still do things like y'all go to synergy or any like anywhere like that to drop a video or you just throw it on YouTube and advertise, then push it on your Facebook or whatever. Well it depends on the, the vibe and stuff. Eh? Um sometimes you go on synergy or or um all the, the um T V stations and, and turn it out to, to promote it. Right. I'm still going to do that um hopefully this week. Uh, to promote the two videos and you can look out for a remix for Drop That is a road radio remix for that one done by um from um Laser Bean who represents um just now. Yeah 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 and 
and also it have another remix, a CDM re- remix, which means um, Caribbean dance music remix, right. um, done by Star Pista Perry. Um, I actually premiered it last night in a, a space La Nuba, and he crowd went crazy for for that remix, you know. So that that will be pumping too, right through here. Space La Nuba, yes, you know how long I hear about Space La Nuba. That's down south. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. How far down south? It's right there by Cross Cross. Pass pass the light house, then. Yeah, it will go. I, I know, I know. As for you, you think Parsi like those so. or Brother, you think Parsi like those? You know, you know us West, us West people. Once you're Parsi like those, you need your passport. <laughs> 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 so all the international viewers watching that didn't mm. catch that dory. I mean, that's a Trinidad thing. <laughs> all right. So what? Uh, what? What fets we find here in for the rest of the carnival season, Renzo? Well, I have um, a big event uh, the seventh of um, February. Right. That was um that sultry that that one will be in um Club Aquarius, SME Entertainment. Um we kinda like partner with them to, to throw that event. Um right. that's one that we, we kinda focus in on. Uh we have uh Patrice Robert, myself, um uh Ricardo Drew performing. It's like a breakfast party um event. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, really looking forward for that one too and a lot of um private functions too that will be appearing in and you know, we, we still have um, a lot of pets that we haven't locked down yet, um, confirmed yet, but more likely um, we have about um, 10, 15 um, coming up in, in the next two weeks. So, yeah, things yeah, come I've been hearing through. from a lot of artists that we've been interviewing over the, over the past couple of weeks that, you know, we, you all are performing a lot more at corporate events and private functions. Are those yeah. um, are those more lucrative or just as lucrative as performing in a, in a big soccer fet? Or... You know, mm-hmm. or is it just, uh, do you have to now tone down your performance too because you might be performing at a corporate event or like, how does that work? Well, it depends on the, the you know, everywhere you go is, is what um, demographic you have to um, perform for, right? Okay. So if there's a, like a more older crowd, you know, I'll kind of like change up the set um, to appeal to them. If there's a younger audience, I'll change it up to appeal to them, you know, so it really depends on the, the type of audience, you know? Um, the corporate and the private functions and stuff like that, they are, for me, they, they pay more. <laughs> nice. Uh, and they actually pay. They actually <laughs> pay, you know. Uh, the, yeah, the, the fets now, on the other hand, the big fets, you know, a lot of the, and I'll say that in the, um, a lot of the young talent, um, they don't get the opportunity to shine as much because, you know, they're more, li- they're, they're more likely hire um, Marshall, Bungie, you know, the, the people who, for sure, will bring people right. to the fest, you know. Right. That, that's the reality of it, you know. And um, you know, I guess we we all the younger generation have to work our way to, to the top to get people. Um, like, no matter if you're young, old, they know who we are, you know, household names, you know. So, um, so far everything going well, and you know, I always thank God for for you know giving me the encouragement because this this industry is a very difficult industry, you know. You have to have your heart has to be in it. You have to, you know, have the passion for it because um, if you're just studying the money and the fame, yeah, your heart will be broken one time because yeah. it will happen like one time. You really have to put in the work into the, the music, you know. We, we still work in, you know, yeah, and yeah. work that never stop. Agreed. Now, one of the biggest things that I've been hearing from um, people that go into all the facts in Trinidad a couple of things happening in Trinidad right now. One, um, the crime is pretty high in Trinidad. And, and then another thing that is, is starting to affect parties as well is that people are saying ticket prices are now going through the roof. Um, in terms of like a cooler mm-hmm. fet, used to be a 120 to go cooler fet. Now cooler fet is 350 $400 to go cooler fet. Are you starting to see a, a mm-hmm. difference in the turnout of people coming to shows? In terms of, is the crime having an effect on people? They, they don't want to come out of the house or people not buying as many tickets, you know, you know? You seen any difference at all? This this season has been a very um, strange season, uh, meaning that a lot of the, the sets got cancelled. Um, even some of the biggest sets didn't have the turnout like they should. Um, and it could be the crime too. I can't really put my head on the block on, on a block for that one. Um, I really don't know the reason, but um, hopefully for the up and coming years, it won't be affected as much because. Um, all artists need to, to, to eat, you know, they need to survive and yeah, yeah, yeah. and even the promoters or event 
um, coordinators, they need to, you know, survive too. And the people need to be entertained right through, right, right, right through the year. So um, it should be a lesson to Trinidad and Tobago. You know, you shouldn't just focus on carnival to throw a fest, you know. Just throw a fest right through the year, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree with that fully. 100%. Yeah. yeah. You, playing, you playing carnival this year? Or you're working for carnival this year? I'm a last minute person. <laughs> I normally get the vibe like like um, Carnival Sunday because nice. when everybody boasting and saying, "Yeah, I playing mass, you ain't playing," you know they kind of rubbing it in your face. That is yeah. only like I say, "Ah boy, to go in town and watch boy." Nah, I I want to do that boy. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll, yeah. I play. Either for playing or staying home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, if, so like, if if we were to do some endorsing here, if 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 Renzo had to pick a band to play with, who who would your hmm. band be? Hmm, that is a well. I, I played with fantasy before, try right. before. Uh, you know, all those vibes in those bands. I never, I never played with Bliss before. I like to play with Bliss uh, to see the 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 kind of crowd there because people are always boasting. You know, Bliss better, try better, fantasy yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I've experienced it too already. So I would like to you know try out Bliss to see how it is. You know. Right. But you supposed to, you supposed to be able to go to your doorstep, Carnival Sunday morning. Right, <laughs> and have three boxes there in front of you with three different pants and three different wristbands. All for free. All for mm. free. That is, that is supposed to be. I, I don't understand. What's the problem with that? Um, that's that's um. I'll say Trinidadians and I do have um another pretty <laughs> another pretty female. You know. <laughs> <laughs> right. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. We well, use, well, use Mr. Renzo. You know, you know Tr- Trinis, Trinis had, They love to get things free. Yeah. I mean, yeah. who don't like free? Who, who don't like freeness, you know? And to, to actually give you a, a free costume, yeah, I'll get that, you know, from the from the smaller bands. But yeah. the bigger bands are kind of like difficult, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you watch, any man, sir? What's that? <laughs> yeah, what do you watch, any man, Good thing, no free boy. Free yeah. thing, no good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I don't. We we know you're busy. We know you're heading down to the studio tonight. We hope to hear. Um, from you soon and get our video released so we can run it on Johnny Vibe TV. Thanks so much for being with us tonight. Um, again, anybody who looking for Renzo, 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 let them know where they can find you, how they can find you. We'll post it all on our Facebook, um, on our Facebook page after as well, and we'll tag Renzo in it. But yeah, anything you wanna say just before we we wrap up? Yeah. So first, I wanna big up um Johnny Vibe T- TV for always giving me that support, and um, you know, always encouraging our industry to, to reach to that level where we need to be where we need to reach big up to all yourself um bob and daryl troublemaker daryl you know <laughs> i know <laughs> 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 i don't understand how i don't understand how daryl so quiet on air and off air you know he give me all the talks and things but you That's know right, that small off, thing yeah yeah off air off air he, he don't stop talking though but on air you see because he's a technical producer so he always had to be yeah. between the two cameras he always had to be typing in information and bringing up the videos yeah. to play and he's a busy fella he's a busy fella and it's kind of good to him yeah. because the show would need to be about three hours long if daryl wasn't doing um technical production <laughs> yeah. three hours alone Take well, really, yeah well you really step up all the game too you know so big up all yourself um Bless. also also, if you want to find me, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram is at Mr. Renzo Music. I have my uh, website, MrRenzo.com. You could view all the videos, um, music, all the information, where, which pets are hitting, which parties are hitting. You'll find out all the information there. Um, also, I want to big up to my team, uh, Mr. Renzo Music Inc. Limited. You know, we have our own um, company launching very soon that will have... Uh, our own studio set up, our own promotion, yes. everything. And so, you know, we really want to take it to the next level. You know, not, not just saying it, but, you know, we actually doing it now. All, yeah. all the time going towards that too, you know. Um, big up to David, big up to Jalen, the whole team, you know. I have a representative from, from um, Colombia too, who dealing with a lot of the, the shows and events in Colombia too, the image, the image in Colombia, Fra- Franci Barco. You can also follow her on Instagram, um, Andrea Barco Music. Um, she real sexy. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I was yeah. gonna, I was gonna ask you a nice kind of Spanish yeah. blonde, blonde lady who's doing excellent PR work for you. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I fall, I, I bite, yeah, I bite, I bite that for a long time ago. 
yeah. don't forget that um remember the, the the arrangement that we came up to where you will have a big uh 70 inch tv running 25 tv 24 hours a day <laughs> well, yeah brother bless I'm we really, really appreciate you taking time out your day and out your schedule to, to be here with us um we look forward to, to the rest of the year. We know you're going to be big for you. We can't wait till the video drop. As soon as it drop, you know, you're jumping on Journey Vibe TV. So thanks for being here with us. Yeah, man. Thanks. I appreciate the time and the, the effort and the love that you give me. And also, come on, I'm going on now. A lot of things going on now. And big up to all the people who are watching, you know, take the time off for the viewing. So come on, or however, to, to yeah. come and take in this interview, you know, uh, very yeah, refreshing no. and stuff like that. So, you know, big up all yourself, man. Big up to Trinity Vibe TV for, for the love, man. Don't know. Bless yeah, man, bless. Yeah. Yeah. So there, there you go. That was Renzo. Renzo music via, via Skype, as you could clearly tell. Now, we also have a little more stuff left for you all watching around the world. We have a throwback video from Farm Manapi. We have the new Marshall and Destro track, which I was disappointed with. Um, we got the cat whole of the week this week. And the rant of the week this week, all of and a lot of it includes Marshall Montano, from what I'm seeing on our storyboard there. Pressure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hope so there's no life pressure on it, man. No, but I wanna, I wanna, I wanna introduce the um the this new music video from Marshall and Destra. So, the last time Marshall and Destra came together on a track was it's Carnival and it's a big, big tune, big and even at, if that played a day, that'll mash up, right? Um, it had that like like big truck effect on Carnival and still has that big truck effect in Fets. And then they came out with Comeback. I mean, it's not a, it's not a bad song, but when you put two powerhouses like Destro and Marshall together, I just I just figured it would it would be better than it's Carnival. You know what I mean? Anyway, this is the um, this is the video for Marshall Montano featuring Destro Garcia for Comeback. Come back right after this. Shall we come back? Yeah. Come back. Right. I, 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 <laughs> you set me free. You set me free. You set me free. Though you only come on once in a while. While, while. Yeah. Being with you brings out my inner child. Child, child. Come back to 
Michelle. Come back, boy. Come back. <laughs> you, know what, you know what she said? Come back. Ja, boy. Yeah, I mean, it was, it's a nice kind of groovy song, nice but, groovy song. But I thought if you, but you, you know, you know the, what I'm saying about, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I thought, you know, powerhouses like that, we would, I guess, something more powerful. <laughs> big up big up Joan Sam you're all watching tonight Joan thanks for following us on Facebook and thanks for what's happening to the show as well so the rant of the week this week is um, some news broke a couple of days ago about our our taxpayers five million dollar investment into double M Mr. Marshall Montano um, we have a story here uh, Marshall Montano has a company called going for gold um limited and when trinidad turned 50 they produced an album going for gold limited produced an album sponsored by the trinidad and tobago government um to the sum of if you scroll down truly story over so this is from uh, hot 97 svg this is <laughs> That's kind of money. So when asked how much money has been generated from this project, um, the number is one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. So we lost a lot of money. Our taxpayers lost a lot of money in Trinidad and Tobago. What are you gonna do, boy? Pressure out. There's no life. Oh, there's no life for struggling youth, man. That's my line, boy. Don't you? Yeah, I know. I know. All right. Daryl also has the news on the Kakahola of the week. So who's the Kakahola of the week this week? The Kakahola of the week this week is Miss Jamelia Crawford <laughs> of Claxton <laughs> Bay. Of Claxton Bay. Miss Jamelia Crawford. Why, she why, went, why is she the Kakahola of the week this week? She went to uh, a job interview. <laughs> she didn't get a job. And then she proceeded to steal the interviewer's purse. <laughs> <laughs> so she begs. She so she gone down the road with yeah. the woman with the woman um handbag. Yeah, she gone down the road with the woman handbag. Right? <laughs> um, I mean, it's not the funny per- at all. Eh? The, the purse was a thousand dollars. Worth a thousand dollars, and um, it had the, it had all the interviewers phone um. Bank card, credit cards, national insurance number, driver's permit, driver's permit, <laughs> and uh, nine hundred dollars in cash, right? So uh, I feel it. I feel that it's it's well suited that Miss Jamelia Crawford, twenty six years old of Claxton Bay. Congratulations! You have now made it in life. You are Kakahola of the week. Sorry about your luck. Or uh, Trinity Vibe TV. Boy, what TV woman pays that? Dairyel, Dairyel, Tolum. Tulum. Dairyel Tulum. I don't want to curse any here. <laughs> because Trinity Vibe TV might might be um we might be picked up by some media broadcasting groups in the Caribbean soon. Uh-huh. We might be. You didn't tell me that? Yeah, you was in any meeting. You was you was um you was working. You was working another event, so I had to do the Skype meeting. What do you want to tell you? Wake up after the meeting. That's, yeah, but that's alright. That's big news. Look, I'm now telling you in front of in front of all the people watching at home. Well, how come them get the fire the same time as me? Because I wanted to see the look on your face. And look how excited it is. See? See how happy I was excited on to you. <laughs> we have a throwback video of the week this week from our boy Farmer. Right? Farmer. And yeah, I like and I like this tune too. So taking this video, we're gonna come back right after this. We have more news for you all when you come back. So this is Farmer and Happy Flute. So who are you flirting with? Me me, you know. Like right business. Who are you flirting with? Not me, brother, not me, soldier. No, yeah, not you. <laughs>
place and track you Saying that the first time you see you, he like you Tell that man he's not a fool No way, you ain't come here for that now Next thing I'm gonna write up behind your boom See, when you look back you realize you're ugly You know me for his decision Why? Why? Cause a dance is a place where everything Is everything and if you feel like you could wind up on anything I wanna hold you Like I hold the mic when I sing Once you satisfy There's no reason You pick up the way you drink This is the season for the winding The only thing if you make me take up the night is for sure Cause all I wanna do is flirt With no strings attached When I hold on and I wind on that That sweet fuck for a part of me You gotta make me guilty I don't care who's watching me What they see is what they see This thing between you and me And you gotta make me I like I really like that other tune, boy. Who's that's watching a, you? That's a nice tune. Sorry, I, I always cuss Daryl for being on his phone on the air, but I'm trying to find the update um, from Sarah Jane Waddle, who has I believe she said Columbia. She predicted Columbia to win. I predict Trinidad to be a goal win Miss Universe. You think so? No, but why? Why? I I think I think we can have it, man. We're gonna. Hey, I want to big up our viewer Montana. Hey Montana, big up Thank yourself. You thanks, yeah, thanks for reaching out to us as well. Um, via what's your message on WhatsApp? Facebook. Facebook, big up. Um, yeah, when we cut uh, when we cut the videos and commercials and all that, we just kind of sit here and watch the video, so we could talk to people when you're messaging. That is the best time. If you ever want to go live on the air, you could call us on Skype. You could add us to TrinityVibeTV.com on Skype. Um, we're gonna take a sneak peek at. Um, the International Soccer Monarch real quick we're just going to jump across it we're going to stay live we're not going to come up the air I believe Mr. Killer is on stage right now I might be wrong no it's Mr. Killer it's Mr. Killer on stage right so this is the International Soccer Monarch in Trinidad and Tobago right now check it out just, just take a, a quick peek check the vibes <laughs> Panty dropper boy. Let me see what you are so panty dropper. Before we get sued, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before we have a loss with our hands. So that's another sneak peek. Um, that is, I mean, international so come on, I'm going since. Early o'clock this morning, morning, brother. You know what I mean? I seen videos all day long on Instagram. That from... was live from Trinidad, by the way. So come on, at yeah, twenty fifteen. Yeah, yeah, that's happening right now. Um, if you see people, yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah, boy. Watch that, watch that, watch that. Watch that. Flag. Oh God, look at people. Look, look, look at, at flag. people. Look at flag. Flag like whoa. Look at people, us. I'm more PVC than bag no one thing. Oh, there's no life. Come back. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before we get lost, before we get lost. Yeah, take it too. Yeah, take it too long. That guy, five minutes. Right, you see, so you see technology? Yeah, 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 Trini, yeah, we have it. Trini vibe of it, Trini vibe of it. So, that's the show this week. Um, we will let you all know via our Facebook page who win Miss Universe in case you're all living in a cave somewhere. Um, Some of them really live in a cave. Right? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I feel uh, Miss Canada going though. You see the outfit? Yeah. Oh gosh, I'm <laughs> Miss Canada. 
you gonna real get cock all of the week this week, you know. How you come on stage with that outfit? Oh my oh, lord! They love brother. the hockey, you go. They love the hockey. Oh gosh, oh gosh! I wanna, I wanna show the, I wanna show the viewers real quick. Um, come, come here. I wanna, oh yeah, I wanna show the viewers real quick. This, oh, just horrible, just horrible. Oh, how you gonna call the people in a uniform? Horrible. Huh? I can do that. All right. You don't even, you don't even have all the other typing is Miss, and the first thing that comes up is Miss Canada. Oh lord. Oh lord, boy. Oh lord, boy. You find out yet? I know, I know, I know they have no, I know they have no pictures of it. Must he take it off? Look at it. Eh, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. If I, ah, boy, Bobby boy, you're moving. <laughs> you're moving fast, so, so, kinda, kinda is um a hockey nation. Hey, what's going on there? I don't know. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Kinda is a hockey nation, right? And it's just a, a, a small, a small thing. Kinda is a hockey nation, so. They have this uniform. She's wearing a kind of like a leotard with a massive dress splayed out with 10 hockey sticks coming out over her shoulders with a Stanley Cup hockey Stanley Cup um, on her head. A losing boys, boy. This is just horrible. And uh, a scoreboard on the background. When I tell you, like, yeah, so this was this was making news all over the world. And I mean, but oh gosh, boy. Take it on, yes? oh gosh, Before boy. We upset anybody. I like I don't like upset them. She could have she could have she could have make a call, but anyway, that's all right. That's all right. Eh, eh. Eh, eh. All right, so that's the show this week. Wait, 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 we still have we we still have a few seconds left. F- you don't want to rob the people? Of the of the of the precious time. Of the precious time, you know? We wanna thank um Mr. Renzo for being here with us tonight. Um we know is is the heart <laughs> and of carnival season right now, is the height sorry, height of carnival season right now. It does take a lot for the soccer artists that have been joining us to take time out of their schedule to be here. Um, to our viewers around the world, I don't know. I don't know, Daryl. Daryl usually has yeah, his his, his analytics there. on his phone. Um, analytics there for you. To Montana and Joanne. Joanne, thank you all very much for writing in via Facebook or WhatsApp. Uh, Montana, call, call, call me. <laughs> why? Why are you so? Uh, I just wicked. I just wicked. I had. Of course, I had to try. I had to try something. Why? Why? Why are you so? Where's your analytics, brother? Analytics we are running out of time. The show is done. The show. The show done fifteen seconds ago, but it's okay. We can still shout out with peeps. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as this Google Analytics thing comes up, comes up. We just want to. Sh- we just want to shout out everybody who's who is watching around the world tonight. Uh, before it loads, I'm gonna put money that we have Trinidad. I'm gonna put money that we have Canada. <laughs> I was giving you cities. All right, let me see. All right. So pick up the Port of Spain crew, of course. Trinidad locked on. Pick up the Edmonton crew. Uh, pick up the Calgary crew. Pick up Kingsland. Where's Kingsland, boy? I would, I would, I would recognize somewhere in the states. Anyway, Kingsland. Pick up New York City. Pick up Bridgetown. Pick up Castries. Um. Yeah. So if you, I mean, we there's 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 more. But if you wanna after this, after we sign off, you all get head over to um, was the was the website socomonarch.net to catch the end of Socomonarch. At the end, it no start for us. Well, the rest of Socomonarch, I should say. And yeah, thanks so much for tuning in. Daryl and I will be here next week. Granted, I'm not too hungover. And uh, let's drink too damn much. I drink did, I just, did I just kiss on you? Sorry, I apologize. I don't drink a lot, brother. Anyway. Not enough, because you see, I'm still making it to work. You, you listening, Bob? You listening? I'm listening, too. You listening? Listen well, eh? All right, I'm listening. Listen. Oh, 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 o